so this is a quick walkthrough aimed at developers looking for a robust, simple network to use as an experimental testing ground for a POC or as a starting point to get new apps into production. So before we get started, I'll just start our network up. So it'll be ready by the time we're ready to go. Okay, so what we'll do is now that I've started the network and we'll wait for it to do its thing, but I'll quickly walk through an overview of how this whole demo is gonna work. So what we've got basically at the heart of everything is the blockchain network itself. Um, we've exposed the RPC endpoint. One thing to note is this can be a POA or a POW network, it really doesn't matter. In our setups, we do both. So you can pick whichever one works for you. We've also got the logs from this network going to our local L cluster, and we've got our monitoring of metrics also going on on the side. Another thing we bring up as part of our setup is the block explorer. So basically you can see the chain head, you can see how chains moving and you can also see all the various other bits and pieces of each individual node in the monitoring and metrics section wait for that to be finally fully up the last part of what we're actually going to do is we'll talk about the dap itself so once we've got the network up we'll look at a smart contract and we we'll look at the dap that uses the smart contract we'll then talk about how we connect the smart contract and dap to the network that we've then deployed and then we will do a quick little demo of using the dap to run some transactions Okay, so I think our network is almost up. Uh, just waiting for the last bits to come up there. Um, what we'll do is we'll start by talking about the DAP and looking through some of the code over there. So all of the code for the smart contract and the DAP live in a folder called Pet Shop. This is the Truffle Pet Shop um, example that we're using in this case. So the contract live here. There's a folder called Adoption which basically creates a contract so you can adopt pets and it has a fixed number of pets, um, 16 I believe off the top of my head, and you can pick one that you like and it'll record the transactions for each one. I'll just wait for the network to come up first before we proceed. Okay, all done. So we'll just make sure everything's humming along nicely. All right, so we've got three peers, blocks are moving forward. Yeah, so we can see the chain heads moving, no blocks behind, and we've got our four nodes in there. And we should be able to see some logs coming through as well. Excellent. Everything looks like it's working nicely. Okay, so what we'll do is, before we go ahead with doing anything else, I will run our handy little script to create the app and deploy it, and then we'll talk about how it's actually working behind the scenes. Uh, so to run the DAP, we have a little handy script there called run DAP. So what this does behind the scenes is it uh, installs a bunch of dependencies and it will compile the contract that we've mentioned over here. It then goes and creates a migration to a network called Quick Start Wallet, and I'll talk about this in a second. Runs a few tests against that network and then creates the container and then deploys it. So now we've got the network itself. The way we connect the smart contract and DAP to the network is via Truffle. And in the Truffle config over here, I've got a bunch of networks that we can define. We've called this one Quick Start Wallet. You're free to call this anything that you'd like to. There's no restrictions over there. We use the Truffle HD Wallet provider, and we're saying the RPC endpoint to use is the one that we've deployed, RPC endpoint from our blockchain. And that should be enough to get us going. So the next thing that we also need to do is we need to add this private key into MetaMask. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'll connect MetaMask to our local network here. I will then go and import an account with that private key. And as you can see, I've got almost 90,000 ETH in there. So the reason you see the ETH dropping every so often is because I'm running tests right here, which use just a little bit of ETH to run each test. So once this finishes and we've got the DAP up, we'll proceed. But in we have, while that's being done, we could quickly walk through what's happened here. Um, so what we can see is that we've done a we've compiled our contracts, we've created a migration for it, and then we've said we're going to deploy those contracts to this network quick start wallet, which we've defined up here. So we've deployed the migrations and we've deployed the contract to this address. So all transactions that we will see going forward will be to this address. Our tests have passed, all well and good there. So we've started up the container and now we're ready to start the DAP up. So the DAP comes up on port 3001 and we see browser syncs connected and it's ready to go. 
So in the truffle pet shop example, there's a bunch of pets that you can adopt. So let's pick this one, for example. When I click adopt, we'll have MetaMask open up a little transaction over there. It says that the account that I just created is going to be sending a transaction to this account. That's the contract address. And when I confirm that, I see that the transaction's gone through with a success over here. And I've got a little notification that's not quite on screen. But what we'll also see is in our little window here, there's a transaction over there now where my account, 627, is sent a transaction to 345. And if I pull that open, that's the account contract code in there. What we also see is I should see a record of the transaction over here. Everything from the gas limits to who the transaction was from and who it's transacted to. But basically, at the heart of it, this is how simple it is to get something up and running. So if you're looking to deploy something really quickly and get it up and going quickly, this is a very simple way to get up and going. And you can start building dApps and smart contracts using any one of our sample networks provided. Thank you, everyone.